Hi everybody, Jack Conti here, CEO of Patreon. So this report has all of the answers for how to grow your membership and I wanna share some of it with you. About six months ago, I was talking with some creators at VidCon and they said that their membership had sort of curved up and then flatlined and they were feeling frustrated because they didn't know how to break out of that plateau. And the more creators we talk to, the more we realize this is a common theme. A lot of creators feel like they hit a wall with their membership. How can I get more patrons? I'm kind of stumped. This year has been very flat overall. I need to come up with some sparks to rejuvenate it. What advice do you have for someone trying to attract more patrons? Please reply. What strategies have been shown to be best for ongoing Patreon growth? I've plateaued. After talking with literally hundreds of creators, literally hundreds of creators, we decided to spin up a team of researchers and data scientists and product managers to help creators solve this problem. Recently, we did a, um, a study um, where we looked at um, creators who plateaued and then inflected their earnings. The team searched through thousands of creators, many of whom had hit this plateau shape. And then something happened. In that pool of thousands, they found 137 extraordinary creators who had managed to break out of that plateau and their earnings curved up and they, and they, um, they inflected by 40% or more in a three month period. Those 137 creators had figured out how to inflect their memberships. We sent out surveys, interviewed creators one-on-one -on -one, and consolidated all of the data and insights into a single report. This report. This is the Creator Inflection Study. The Creator Inflection Study. The Creator Inflection Study. The rest of this video is gonna be about some of the key insights from this study, my own personal experience as a creator growing my membership on Patreon, and some quick and dirty tips and tricks I've learned for how to implement some of these strategies and grow your membership. The first huge takeaway from the Creator Inflection Study, and probably the most impactful, is this. Of the creators who inflected their memberships, a significantly large portion of them had recently revamped their tiers and benefits. This stuff, the stuff you give your members in exchange for their membership. This makes a ton of sense to me because I remember when my band Pomplamoose decided to revamp our tiers and benefits at the beginning of last year because the old structure didn't really work with the new upload schedule that we were planning for the rest of 2018. And in that relaunch process, our membership grew 50% in one month because we were essentially relaunching our page. It was this month long initiative to reinvigorate the band and our audience with new music, a new upload schedule, new membership benefits. When we did quantitative surveys with the inflection creators, we found that over 40% of them had done something like that. They had made changes to their tiers and benefits in the months prior to their inflection. Breaking Bourbon, for example, revamped their tiers and benefits on their one year Patreon anniversary, adding a $25 tier with a merch benefit and a six month thank you benefit. They also created a special offer allowing their patrons to choose the next barrel tasting and their membership more than doubled in the month following the revamp. Gary and Riva did something similar. He added an exclusive content benefit at $5, lowered the price of the ability to vote on video topics to $3, and then got rid of the early access benefit because it was just too complicated for him to manage. Over the six months following the tier revamp, his membership grew 220%. These are all charts of creators from the inflection study who revamped their tiers and benefits. I think you get the picture. The takeaway is that revamping your tiers and benefits is the number one correlated behavior with a creator inflecting their earnings on Patreon. But another key insight we learned from the inflection study is that changing your tiers can be scary. A lot of creators feel like they've made this permanent promise to their members with their tiers and benefits structure, and so they don't want to update them. But actually, we found that members are totally down for updates to tiers and benefits. Because remember, your members are here for you. They want you to be successful. If there's a benefit that isn't working because it's too time consuming or just not enjoyable, Tell your patrons. Personally, as a creator, I've found that patrons are super understanding and responsive if you're just honest about what's going on. For example, when Pomplamoose, my band, did our tiers and benefits revamp last year, we wrote this blog post outlining what we were thinking of doing and why. We also outlined our concerns and problems with the old tiers and benefits structure, and we asked our members for feedback on the new proposed structure. People were so understanding, and actually they were really grateful that we had included them in the process. The comments were almost 100% positive. And actually, other creators had a really similar communication flow with their patrons. Remember this guy, Gary and Riva? He made a 
patron-only post in January announcing the changes here, and then rolled out those changes in March here, giving his members a full two months heads up. So if you're interested in revamping your tiers, but you're feeling a little nervous about it, try telling your members ahead of time to give them a chance to give you some feedback and to give you a chance to gauge the changes and see how people respond. If you don't want to do a full revamp of your tiers, there's still a bunch of great tips and tricks that creators who are great at growing their memberships use on a regular basis. One of the big ones that we've seen creators use recently is something we call a special offer. <laughs> Think of a special offer as a benefit that you only make available for a limited period of time, like a week or 30 days, which gives the offer a sense of urgency and excitement. It allows you to rally your fans around a timeline, and it also gives you a deadline to help you motivate yourself to promote it more, which I know I certainly need. Peter Hollins, an acapella singer on Patreon, did a special offer recently, giving his fans a chance to get their name printed on his Christmas album. But you had to sign up by a certain date because he had to send the album art to the printers. Every new day leading up to the deadline, Peter was posting on Instagram with the number of days left, nine days left, eight days left, seven days left. The traffic to his Patreon page skyrocketed 5x and the conversion on his page grew 9x. People have tweaked the strategy in a number of ways, but there's always two key ingredients to a special offer. First, there's a deadline. And after the deadline, the benefits are no longer available. And second, there's heavy sequenced promotion leading up to that deadline to make sure your fans hear about it and know that you've got something cool in the works. It doesn't have to be on socials. It might be your email list, or your podcast or wherever your fans interact with you on a regular basis. This is such a tried and true strategy that a ton of creators have used it beat for beat. Monica Byrne, a writer on Patreon, offered to print her members' names in her new book, and she used both a deadline and heavy promotion during the special offer period. Monica's membership grew over 20% that month. Natalie Dawn, my wife, offered to put her patrons' names on her record, and she even went so far as to count down the hours left until the deadline on the last day of the special offer. Amanda Palmer, a musician did a special offer as a thank you to her patrons, giving them a chance to get an art card in the mail. She announced publicly that only her members were gonna get these art cards mailed to them and that they wouldn't be available to buy anywhere else. New pledges to her membership that month grew 337% compared to the average of new pledges over the previous six months. Plus her patrons got an awesome art card sent to them in the mail and it was just an amazing thing to do with her members. The special offer strategy is so effective that Patreon's development team recently built a special offers product. When we ran our first beta test with creators, they saw a median lift of 288% in new and increased pledges to their membership. Over 1,200 Patreon creators have used our special offers beta so far to grow, and the results have been incredible. Special offers works. It's, I think, the most impactful product that we've built since our launch. You gotta put in the work, but if you do, it works. And if you wanna learn more about special offers, there's some great articles in the description of this video. Okay, sorry for the change of scenery, folks, but I'm traveling and I wanted to uh, finish this video anyway. So I'm in my buddy's studio in Los Angeles. So far, we've talked about revamping your tiers and benefits and special offers, but we can't talk about growing your membership without talking about ways to recognize your members, things that you can do to help them feel super special and excited to be there. One of my personal favorite tools for this is an app called Bonjoro. It's an app for your phone that hooks up to your Patreon and gives you an up-to-date chronological list of all your new patrons. When you tap on someone, it opens up a video screen and you can record a quick thank you video that automatically gets sent to the email address that the patron has on file with Patreon. You can find Bonjoro and hook it up to your Patreon in our app directory at patreon.com apps. In the app directory, you can also find other apps that you can hook up to your membership like Patronizer, which connects Patreon to Adobe products like Photoshop and After Effects and Illustrator. Patronizer basically pulls an up-to-date list of your members' names sorted by tier into Photoshop or whatever Adobe product you're using so you can add your members' names to the end of your videos or your website or whatever it is that you're publishing. And yes, it automatically filters out uncharged and declined patrons. When a patron hears or sees you say their name, it's really impactful. We did a study showing that members who received a personalized message with their name in it had a 14% lower monthly churn rate than members who didn't receive a personalized message. You can learn more about Patreon's app directory, Bonjoro, Patronizer, and all our other apps here. Okay, before we wrap it up, we gotta talk about one more thing. 
community. Backing up for a second, strategically, Patreon is not trying to build a community site. We're not trying to eat Facebook's lunch or get into the Twitter game or build a social media company. That's not what we're doing. However, we are interested in helping you hook up your Patreon with existing community products so you can create member-only exclusive communities and special experiences for your patrons. Like on Reddit, your patrons can get member-only flair next to their name when they post in your subreddit. And there's a call to action letting people know that they can become a patron right there on the community page. And then there's Discourse, which allows you to host patron-only forums, like old school, early 2000s internet forums, where your patrons can engage in discussion threads and start topics and talk about those and do Q and A's. And Patreon's most popular community integration is Discord. Discord syncs with your Patreon to create a member-only community where your patrons can interact. Our creators and patrons love it because it just feels more intimate than having a public shouty conversation on socials. It's just, it's more cozy and special. The Carlin Brothers, a creator on Patreon, have a Discord community that is so tight that they got together at the end of the year to create a patron-only Discord yearbook. They also just randomly got together at one point to buy one of the community managers a new camera lens for his birthday. My birthday, they gave me um, a 1.2 uh, 50 millimeter Canon lens, which is like a $1,300 lens, which is Nuts. So our, our team of moderators got together and bought me really beautiful winter boots. There are only 900 members that have access to the Carlin Brothers Discord, but it is an active community. In 2018, those 900 people made 1.2 million posts on Discord. 1.2 million posts in our server. They're talking all the time. This past year, they did their second annual gift exchange, like a Secret Santa type thing, and it gets more intense. People are now meeting up on their own time with other people that they know from the Discord. Hannah Witten, another creator on Patreon, also uses Discord for her membership community, and she says that the best part is that patrons like to hang out and interact with each other instead of relying on the creator to spark conversation. My favorite thing of it is like opening it in the morning and being like, there are 50 unread messages and none of them are to me. It's just all of them to each other. And the Carlin Brothers Discord community has a similar dynamic. The best way to engage those fans is to engage them with other fans. You can learn more about integrating with Discord in this article here, and there's also a link to it down in the thing below. Okay, let's wrap this up with a good old fashioned summary. The best way to grow your membership is by revamping your tiers and benefits. Your membership is fluid, not static. Just be honest with your members about the changes that you're making and why. If you're up for it, try doing a special offer. That's that limited time benefit with the marketing push and the deadline and the countdown leading up to it. Over 1,200 creators have tried the special offers product and so far it just works. Remember to recognize your patrons. You can use Patreon's app directory to streamline your workflow and save time on adding people's names to your creations or sending people video thank yous. And finally, community. Thousands of creators are building amazing relationships with their members by using patron-only community tools like Discord and Reddit. If you want to learn more about growing your membership, check out our blog here. Here. There's also a link in the thing down below. There are just so many articles there on marketing strategies and creator success stories and special offers and all that good stuff. Okay, that's it for me, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if this was helpful, please do let me know. I'm wanting to spend more time this coming year talking with creators and making videos, uh, sharing Patreon lessons and data. So if this was helpful, please do let me know in the comments below and I will see you next time. Goodbye.